I'll say it once with the bass side I come alive when the light dies Overcast when we inside Eyes wide, lie twice My advice don't mean shit tonight Cause I've been driving though I can't see shit And I've been lying through my teeth Just to get the feeling right and feel alright So girl, just turn the lights down Yeah What's up guys, Chang here with Rise Magic and I'm going to be teaching you the split snap change. Now this is a variation off the snap change created by Ed Marlowe decades ago. I'm going to be teaching you a few variations on it, how to end clean, how to make it look really good in front of the camera, and how to present it for people live in person. Now before you dismiss this trick as being too angle sensitive or something you can't do in person, let me present you with this hypothetical situation. You're at a party, you're a gig, you're doing magic. I personally guarantee you, this has happened to me hundreds of times, someone's going to take out their phone and start snapchatting you while you're doing magic. Yeah, the magicians are you doing magic! <laughs> now this way you only have 10 seconds to show them something impressive for their story so they can show their friends. Show play to the camera, do the split snap change, you'll go on their Instagram story, snap to story, it's free advertising, and you made their night because now they showed all of their friends back home wherever the experience, the magic that they saw in person by you. So let's check it out. Now I'm not gonna go crazy in depth with the snap change because a lot of people know it already, and it's a pretty simple move, so just follow along really quick and I'm sure you'll get it down. You have your thumb and pointer gripped together, holding these two cards a little bit under halfway down. Now the only motion that's happening in the snap change is your middle finger is getting shot backwards, snapped backwards, while these two fingers stay completely still. Just like that. Now, the reason these have to stay completely still, if they move at all, like you'll see lots of people go like this, and it's gonna bend the cards and not do a clean change. So if your snap change isn't working, these two fingers have to be completely still, grip tight, middle finger flicks back. When that happens, if you're holding the cards at eye level, this card will be completely invisible and blocked the spectator's point of view. So once you've got that down, if I'm performing this for a camera, like you saw me do, I like to flick the side. This gives a distraction to this noise. and looks like an action is causing the change. So once again, I like to flick the side while my middle finger here flicks back, and pulls the card backwards. So that's for the camera. If I'm doing it live, there are two things I like to do. The first one is I'll be holding the deck and I'll have my two cards and I'll go one, two, three, four, and pull it back. This way, the action of hitting the deck is kind of like flicking the side. It's giving someone a visual and audible cue that something's gonna happen and it gives me an excuse to ditch the card right here right after do the change. So once again, we get one, two, three, ditch that, ditch it again, and you're left spinning. Another thing I like to do, you have your two cards here, flip this deck upside down, grip it with your pinky and palm. Now this way, in one hand, you have the ditching capability. That last one I showed you. You do the change, and while you go to hand them their changed card, Break the deck, ditch the car, and it out to them. Just like that. So that's a few variations I like to do on the snap change to make it more clean. Quick overview on the snap change. Get your two cards, grip between your thumb and pointer, a little bit more than halfway down. They have to remain completely still on gripping the card. And your middle finger is gonna pull back, and it's gonna hide behind that front card, right behind your thumb. You can ditch it however you'd like. All right, so now that you know the basic snap change, we're gonna learn the split snap change to focus this video. So you're gonna have three cards, right? The first one, the front one being a card that looks good split in half. And then it's divisible by two camera parts. So you've got five times two is 10, two fives is 10. 10 goes in front, you're gonna grip exactly the same way you would for a normal snap change. The only difference is this time your left hand's gonna come up and pull back this third card and grip it at the same level with your thumb Actually, a little bit underneath with your thumb and pointer. Your middle finger is going to go on front as well. And in slow motion, what's going to happen is you'll tug a little bit. You'll pull this card forward while doing the snap change. Let's do that again. At full speed, 
you're going to want to pull this a little bit, a millisecond before you just snap change. Clear space for you to do it. It's actually pretty hard to do slow. Full speed, you're pulling this card forward and doing the change. Once again, it helps when you're holding this card to do this action a little bit before you do the snap change. So you're pulling on this like that. You're gonna pull this card forward and do the change. That happens in a split second. So once again, at full speed, that's how it's gonna look like. Now, like I said before, if I'm doing this in person, what I like to do is I'll obviously have the deck in my left hand, but for this, turn it upside down and grip it. And that grip I showed you with my pinky palm. These will stay squared up. Put the pinky and palm right there. Got this ready to go, so check this out. Pull this back a little bit. Do the change. Take this, hold it in like that. Grip the deck, ditch the card, and present the two cards that it changed into. If you got any more questions on it, feel free to leave a comment. I'm down there all the time answering your questions. So once again, from the front, it's gonna look like this. You got your 10. From the front, you won't be able to see me pulling back that third card. And you're gonna pull that 10 apart to two fives. Now one last thing, if you're wondering how when I do it, I can bring this middle finger back around front, you saw a little bit of it there, but basically I'm using this substance called Octopalm. I can leave a link in the description to where you get it on Amazon, but it's basically a utility gimmick for magic. I highly recommend it. I've had this for two years, so much that all the labels have worn off of it. It helps like stuff like second deals go better. You can, there's a lot of creative uses for it, so I suggest you check it out. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this helps you get some extra mileage out of this split snap change. I promise you, if you learn it, you'll use it. You'll use it in situations like I talked about before at parties with someone wants to Snapchat a trick, use it for camera tricks. Maybe you learn something new with the Octopalm. It's great stuff. Leave a like if you like the tutorials. If you want to see magic or car show tutorials, leave us a comment. We're not sure which ones to focus on or just keep doing both. Anyway, appreciate you guys' support. Peace out. And I've been trying to dig my way out of the ocean And punch a hole in the sky And float the light to the midnight And I don't know where you're going You can't expect the best